Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Always Open. I'm your host Barbara Dunkelman and on today's show we're going to be talking about superstitions, uh, sex toys, and if you've used any household items as one, and a question about how to perceive signs from someone. And with me today, I have a lovely group of humans, including... <laughs> oh, do I have to say my name? Yes! Hi, I'm Tyler. <laughs> oh. I'm Lindsay Jones. <laughs> And it's me. Yep. <laughs> Your friendly neighborhood Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> Every week yes. it's something different. Why doesn't she have to say her name? Because it's Mary. It's her. Yeah. It's well, it's like Spider-Man. Yeah. Like you know who it is, but you're not gonna say it. Everybody gets one. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. We should have just made faces like Tyler too. I feel like I left out. <laughs> mm. oh, whoops. I know I can't reach your chin for a little chin squeeze. Can I? Look at you scratch. Thanks. Per. Next time you could say it's me and it'll be acceptable. Okay. <laughs> but it. don't, because that's my thing. Okay, fight. babe. Fight. I had, to, I had to put you two separately this time so you wouldn't fight each other. Please, not friend the baby. Uh, yeah. no. Sorry. Stop. Sorry. Apologies. Apologies. We'll save it for later. My, my baby! <laughs> I just want you to say that at some point. Anyway. I will. Absolutely. I'll clutch my pearls, too. Yeah. Okay. Stop it. All right, well, let's get started with our shot. This one is submitted by me. You I did this shot. week's shot. You did this. This is called the Gus. <laughs> Christ. And it's uh, just a tequila shot. It's, it's, it's tequila. nice. It's that's, pure jet fuel. That's all it is. <laughs> Full of Wait, bitterness so and regret. I, I, I prepared these myself, but you lick the salt and then you take it's the like, shot and then you lick, bite the Lick thing. the rim. Yeah. Lick mm -hmm. the rim. Always lick the rim. And then shoot, then lick. Mm -hmm. Or suck. You can lick and suck. Just it doesn't keep, matter. Just keep saying yeah, these words. <laughs> yeah, going. We're not doing phrasing anymore. Phrasing? Yeah. Not the thing we're doing. <laughs> just lick, suck, and just put it in your mouth. Yeah, get it in there. Just Somehow. get it in your mouth. Somehow. Doesn't All right, matter. I hate tequila, so this is going to be fun. Cheers, hey. everyone. Cheers. Shout out Cheers. to uh, the Gus. Cheers. Oh, God, this is not going to be fun. Mmm, fruit juice. <laughs> I know, I made Lindsay's. I was like, are you cool with, like, fruit punch and... So, yes, thank you. I don't understand ah! that face you're making. Like, you are Hispanic. This should be, like, okay for you. Like, I love tequila. What's wrong? I also hate cilantro. But oh, seriously. Is what? it the soap for you? Like, does it... I just think it tastes like shit. Oh, I, don't know. I, was, I love cilantro. Like, there's cilantro in that shot, and then I realize it's the, uh, the Mexican It's just there. the Mexican thing. Yeah. Well, that is genetic, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's genetic. Just, everyone in my family loves cilantro, though. I just, like, I've never liked it. I think oh, I'll have to actually like dive into it and see if I think it tastes soapy. It's like burning it. I am with you on tequila though. Hate it. You hate tequila? I don't mind it if it's mixed in, but like, uh, I just. I mm. am gonna need a second after that shot. <laughs> <laughs> that one hit me really quick. Do we need to vamp a little bit? Yeah. All right. No, so no, we're like, good. Uh, <laughs> no, well, my dad. <laughs> we're vamping. My dad is a uh, one of those people who he'll have dinner and then um, coffee and then a tequila shot. And he'll sit sit there and he'll sip it. He'll Mexicans, sit Mexicans have start dinner at seven p.m. and don't add until midnight. Oh. Is it like mezcal or something? Uh, most of the time it's just like a nice to get super nice tequila. Mezcal, mezcal is, is the you don't want to shoot mezcal. You want to sip it, right? Yeah, it's mm -hmm. more it's like the scotch of tequila. Ooh. And then it goes down to the clear. And by the way, like uh, the brown tequila is basically like it's the crude oil <laughs> of tequila. <laughs> like it's not good. So like. Not so like the gold, like don't drink that. Okay. It's not good. It's like the keystone. It's the keystone, that's okay. what it is. It's cool. the natty light of tequila. Oh nice. Yeah, you need it. Uh, make sure it's clear. Lindsay, you're like a month and a half away from being I able am. to drink again. And we're still talking about tequila. I'm like, man, <laughs> I, I miss drinking. I do. Um, you're so close. Uh, it's crazy. Yes. Can yeah. you I, I this might be a too personal a question, but can you can drink while you're breastfeeding, right? As long as long as you pump and dump? No. So no? Pump so from what People told me is you cannot drink while you're breastfeeding. Mm -hmm. Doctor said the same thing. I can pump and get a bunch like stored away, and you can freeze your milk and then use that later, which I might do. But yeah, pretty much just not gonna drink for a while. And yeah. then if I have a second kid, which we do want, it's like okay, do I even bother? Do I just like, like not you want, drink? Like for... pretty close yeah. to the mm -hmm. first one. I'm trying to have them like close enough because they say people or kids who are closer in age usually get along better. Which like okay, that can be debated. It's nice to have a companion when you're growing. Yeah. Up. So I'm gonna try and do that. So I probably just won't drink for the next like three years. <laughs> okay. My prediction is that when you get pregnant again, they're gonna be twins, and you're gonna uh, have with three. Dude, kids. we were talking <laughs> about that too. Do you have twins? Michael does. In your family? Yeah, Michael oh, does. Ooh. We were talking oh. about that, and we're like, okay, do we want like two boys, two girls, or like one of the one for one? I don't know. So. But you have your girl now, so you're set. Like yeah. whatever one comes next doesn't yeah. matter because you got That's the, the one that we wanted, yeah. right, Tyler? <laughs> I, I don't want a boy. Like if I had kids, I'd only want girls. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. I don't. I don't want a little me. That would be just. <laughs> I couldn't deal with that. I feel like I'd want a girl from like zero to age 
like 11 or 12 and then a boy because I feel like <laughs> teenage girls hey it can happen I was one of them fucking little cunts like you know <laughs> <laughs> just yeah. a bunch of little bitches they're evil. Totally, yeah, yeah it was totally sure. opposite for me and my sister I mean we were very different like I was the tomboy hardcore and she was like the fashionista super popular girl and has to have everything super fancy so it could go either way who knows it's true yeah, could go completely. Separate. Yeah, most boys like yeah, teenage boys I feel would be easier because they're just jacking off all the time. <laughs> like that's the only thing you're is gonna it, have to. You gotta that, wash those socks. Is that easier? That you is. I mean, you're gonna have that awkward situation where you walk in on your son jacking it, like I'm sure most moms have. But like that's your pretty mom much. On you. My mom, I've never been caught masturbating, which is amazing because I do it all the <laughs> well, time. Well, you've been caught having lots of sex. <laughs> I've been caught having sex, but never masturbating. Um, but yeah, Let's that's. I think crazy. that's all you really have to deal with, like with a teenage boy. Yeah, and also just. If they're just a shithead in general. And just a yeah. shit. Well, yeah. most. I mean, everybody's shitty when you're a teenager. I mean, <laughs> just, you you suck. girls yeah. are also just way more expensive. Like, a, a boy, good. you can, like, just buy, like, here's a t shirt and, and like, some pants, whatever. Unless right. he wants, so like, girls, Xboxes like, and. Well, when they're little, I mean. Oh. I definitely fit the exception on each of these standards. It's like, okay, definitely was walked in on as a teenager masturbating. I was like, sweet, what? that's awesome. Oh. Yeah. I don't think you've ever told that story. No, not at all. But yeah, it was just like, hey, I'm you know hanging out by myself. Thought my parents were out of the house. Nope. My dad came in to check on me, and I was like, Oh, oh he was oh, your dad. dad. Oh, no. oh. Yes. He like, I bet his heart just like shattered. Oh. The oh. Like, I kid you not, and I'm sure he's watching, like killing himself now. But um, <laughs> <laughs> he like opened the door and just went. And then just slowly close. No. <laughs> was it? I, yes. I don't want to get. You don't have to no. be too personal with this, but was it like? Well, like I could think. Uh, there, there were some. Noises. Was it PG yes. or was it like? It was PG. Okay. I mean, like okay. it was under covers, but okay, it was that's definitely what I was like, what's ask. that? What's that noise going on? Are there bees in here? Oh no. <laughs> Because it'd be one thing if you're just like fiddling or something, but if you had a toy under there, yeah. yeah. Is, is it weird to say? I don't know if this is like Freudian, but like, is it weird to say like you want the opposite sex to catch you? Like, I would want my mom to catch me masturbating. There's no way I'd. Oh really no! I would yeah, much eyes. rather. Much rather it have been my mom. Much rather yeah. my mom catch me do. Uh, maybe, then maybe oh, we could joke 100%. about it later. I don't know. And she's I, like, oh, I would have killed too. myself if either of parents. <laughs> oh, my dad, my dad almost kind of walked in on me in bed, but not really. Like a bed it with another a, person or masturbating? No, with another person. Okay. But it was it was like a weird situation. Oh. I know that's a story for another time. But okay. <laughs> another show. I just another had that show. in college. What were you doing? A few times. Tripping? I was tri <laughs> tripping. Tripping, yeah. No, tripping. I was oh. what? Tripping. Tripping. What's tripping? What is? Oh, oh, tripping. gross. I Isn't see. that just scissoring? A little bump and grind. Yes. Oh, mm -hmm. a little uh, donut bump. I, I don't know donuts. a lot about donuts. lesbians. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm just making all this shit up. Yeah. It's what I see on Pornhub, so I'm just imagining. There you go. It's pretty <laughs> much like what goes on, right? Yeah. So, yeah. They just yeah. funnel each other's breasts. Yeah. yeah. Scissor. For There's a lot of long fingernails too. Yep. Yes, just thinking about going back to the sweetness of this conversation. As we start, I like we started of like, oh, I want to have kids one day. <laughs> <laughs> terrible, don't have kids because uh, you will watch the master. Exactly. No, I think I I would fu like fucking die if my dad walked in on me. Oh, same. and my if my mom, it'd be weird, but it's just like, oh, you get, you're a woman, you understand, like. I feel like mom, that'd be that could no. be a drunken like. That was funny later on. I don't, like, uh, yeah, my parents story. don't drink. So oh, okay, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> just a very sober, like, hey, <laughs> don't let's drink. not ever talk about that. Mama Tucky doesn't again. get drunk. She just has fun. <laughs> <laughs> just thinking about my dad looking at me while I'm jacking it. God. You wouldn't like keep going. <laughs> well, no, I wouldn't keep going. Like, no, I'd be like, yeah, stay. You'd be like, no, dad. <laughs> You can say it weird. I don't know what we're gonna you do. You said you wanted a daughter, so like, you know, what would happen if that was you? If I saw my daughter masturbating, it would be, you know, that's what they do. It's fine. It's I, I, I would not. I would just be like, I wouldn't even talk to her about it. I just would be whatever. It's mm. funny because we'll probably we'll bring this up again later in the show. But the question is, have you used a household item as a masturb mm -hmm. masturbatory toy? So I we'll get to that, that soon. Tyler was open about wanting a girl too, because Michael definitely wanted a daughter for yeah. a long time. Yeah. And we definitely had a couple people being like, "Oh, is he sad?" It's like, no. What the? What the? It's 2017. Come on. Yeah, get cares? the fuck up. A like, woman. Shut up. Yeah. In my family. <laughs> In my <laughs> goody Christian <laughs> suburbs. Again, the the pearl clutching. No. <laughs> <laughs> my baby. <laughs> I want it to happen so bad. All right, well, let's move on to our first uh, subject of the day, which is roast and toast, which we changed the We name. changed it up. We realized we are, like, roasting pretty much every photo and video that we premiered on the show, so we're just going to change the name to roast and toast. Mm -hmm. So we're going to talk shit, but we're going to be like, you're still cool. It's more well, like an analysis. We'll see if yeah. that happens for this like one. That. So uh, the subject of this week is myself, Barbara Dunkelman. Uh, you dunks. And it's a video that I, some people at this company probably have seen because it's on my YouTube channel. But it's a video of me when I was 17 years old. And uh, that's all I'll say. Let's roll the clip. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> 
That's recording. So Who's that was, filming this? That was my friend Brittany, who's okay. like my best friend back home, oh, and she has one of those laughs where anytime she would laugh, I would start crying. It was such a <laughs> contagious laugh. Yeah. So many people have seen that video, and they're just like, "All right, what drugs were you on, yeah. or how much had you guys drank?" <laughs> Nothing. Nada. We had some uh, Coca-Cola and a slice of pizza. <laughs> <laughs> how old were you? Yep. Seventeen. Jinx. Nice. I was seventeen. That was like at the end of high school. Okay. Video. Wow. Yeah, I was gonna ask if you're in college yet or not. There's also a, a moment in that video, if you watch it back, where I, I hold my butt. <laughs> it's because I farted when I was yes. doing that dance. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh and if you God. listen to it really carefully, you can hear it. <laughs> We're going to have to like yeah. dissect this audio. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus. <laughs> I felt like when I was watching it, I was like, I felt like that was very much like you'd see that in a documentary. Like Barbara was just, you know, a unique girl. <laughs> and then like, but later it's a documentary about you getting like murdered. And yeah, like, or being a serious right? okay. or being yeah, a superstar. I thought of like the Justin Bieber drums. Oh, oh like, exactly. Yeah. She had talent. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Clearly. Yeah. I used to do that hairstyle all the time too, where I would put a like my hair was down. I'd put a water bottle on the center of my head, flip my head over, and then tie my hair to the top of it. Mm -hmm. You haven't done it lately. You, you look like a, like a, what's a book about the Snorlax thing, or the, what, what's it, uh, the, the Snitches? The Snooches? Who? He's uh, Dr. Seuss, Dr. But I don't Seuss. remember what remember it is. Remember there's like, there's, hip, hip there's, hip hop, hip <laughs> there's like, <laughs> there's like the, the Snitches Snooches or whatever that have the stars and some don't have the stars. Yeah. Uh, remember that? There's all the metaphor for like, Right, and they had the hair mm -hmm. like that. Or it's Horton Hears a Who. Oh, there you go. That's what your hair looked like. Horton Hears a Whore is what <laughs> you, you, look, you look like a who, who villain. Yes. With your you hair. You look like yeah. a troll. You look like a troll doll. Yeah. But you were legal. Yeah. I, well, yeah, I was. Just, in Canada. just pointing that out. <laughs> just it's, making it clear. 17 before. is legal. But that's the kind of shit I would do with my friends. We would dress up in a stupid fucking outfit and just film videos of ourselves being idiots and make each other crack where up. Was yeah. like, where that was that at? That was in my room back in Ottawa. Nice. Ottawa, that's why I will toast to this because that reminded me of like everything I did in high school. Yeah. That's, that's my entire that. YouTube channel was <laughs> shit like that. Yes. One day. Maybe yeah, we'll get we're to almost you. Yeah, do you have those videos still? I do. I, I'm thinking, I have one that I is really, really horrible and I'm thinking about saving it for a special occasion. Well, now that we're bringing videos into this, as yeah. Barbara was saying, it's yeah. like, hey, we have a plethora of embarrassing yeah. things to bring oh, to God. the table. So yeah, right before the show, I told, I told Lindsay that we had a, I was doing this week's and it was a video, and she's like, we do video? <laughs> like, Interesting. <laughs> um, Maggie, I need to go back into my Facebook. Yeah, yeah. Maggie brought a uh, journal entry for l the other week, but we didn't end up using it, but like, I was like, anything. Anything that you think is like embarrassing or could be used. Yeah. Oh my God, we got to look at Maggie's, um, what do you call those photo things? Album. Photo album. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, that's hilarious. So yeah. Yeah. Time. So a physical, funny. big <laughs> photo album. Yeah. That was yeah. huge. And the, the notes that Maggie would like write to herself or describe things was like, it's just like little eight year old Maggie's the same yeah. thought process. Day at the as park as with <laughs> Grammy. Like, <laughs> oh my god, for that no, old Jewish friends, lady. She was friend, yeah, friends with an old Jewish woman. Like, she's she in was. every yeah. picture. Oh, right? yeah. I didn't know about this, I'll have to ask her. One like of her best friends was an old Jewish woman who was one of her neighbors. That's amazing. She's like hang out with her. I was like, that is like Maggie. <laughs> anyway, back to Barbara, who is an old Jewish woman now. Hey. And you'll time travel and hang out with yeah, Maggie. And I just, really, yeah, I'll make presents with that, Where did that outfit come from? Is that something you owned? Uh, that was my mom's dress. Oh, she probably is watching this uh, as we speak right now and not very happy. <laughs> <laughs> uh. It's funny too because that dress looks like something you would wear now because that's definitely that's back in the dress. Oh, yeah, yeah, I would totally wear that now. But back at the time, I was like, <laughs> what year was this? that? What well, can't do math? Two thousand six. Okay. Hmm. Yes. Yeah, yeah, it sounds about right. Yeah. yeah. Seventeen. Because we're about the same age, I think. How old are you? Twenty-eight. I'm almost twenty-eight. Yeah, you are. You're getting old. Wait. Sorry. You're turning twenty-eight, or you're already twenty-eight? I'm already twenty-eight. Your birthday was. I think. I can't no, exactly. remember honestly. Exactly like, like, dude, no is. shame. I forgot how old I was this Seriously. weekend. Seriously. Like, like when people what? ask you, <laughs> yeah. you know? I was like, I'm twenty-six. So like, no, honey, <laughs> listen. I always forget when it's right after my birthday. 
but I, like yeah so well you ever works. like Lindsay? have you ever done the thing where like you go to buy alcohol for like whatever and they ask you how old you are instead of asking for your id and you like pause you're like yeah i'm oh, yeah. uh 28 <laughs> they're totally like, legit okay. right like yeah yes wait how old are you Lindsay? i'm gonna be 28 this year 28 okay yeah your birthday in september, september. Okay. yeah I'm 27, about to be 28. Okay. I'm, I'm like three months older than mm. Lindsay. I'm a Virgo. Yeah. So uh, are, are we yeah. roasting this? We're roasting and, and toasting, toasting it. Mm? We're, we're, we're toasting you're, you're, you're fucking goofy, but you know it's what? Great. It brought you here. <laughs> yep. Well. Why not? I used to um, have shit like that all the time. You were a theater kid without being a theater kid. Mm-hmm. That's all that video clip showed Dude, me. When I was that age, so many people would ask me if I was in theater mm-hmm. because I was, I was doing that shit all the time. Yep. And I was just very like stupid in public. It's very theater kid thing theater to do. Theater kid. And I'm like, <laughs> No. <laughs> it's like, well, because you're real stupid in public. So. Yeah. <laughs> That's the best. Why not? Fucking like idiot. Yeah. Well, good job to me. <laughs> good job, Barbara. You did it. Good job, me. All right, let's move on to our Ask Us Anything question. I'm excited to see what you guys think about this one. This one is submitted by Sam D. And Sam D wants to know, how superstitious are you, if at all? What does Michael Scott say? He's like, I'm not superstitious, but I am a little stitious. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Semi-stitious? Yes. <laughs> I am super superstitious. Are you? A hundred percent. I'm I grew up <laughs> in a Mexican, Catholic Mexican family. Mm. A big thing, like, we've always we've always knocked on wood in my family. It's mm. like, oh, you like, don't think anything, like, knock on wood. Yeah. Uh, so then I have, like, that's so ingrained in me that, like, now um, I don't always have access to wood. So anytime I'm in a car and like any, any bad thoughts or like see an accident or something, I, you knock on glass to save your ass, right? Mm. Oh, that's a good one. Never heard of that. Yeah. So I keep that with me also. So again, I'm so anxious and paranoid all the time that um, I have a specific, my phone screen protector is made of glass. So I always have a piece <laughs> so of really glass. Really? Knock on huh. glass? So I can knock on glass at any time. I do this every night. I'm paranoid. Like every time I have a bad thought, I have to do it. So like you'll randomly see me just like, I want to get you a piece of wood now to carry oh, around yeah, or something, oh, yeah. like a little locket. Um, yeah. So Very yeah, every, uh, usually every night. Um, mostly it's when I think about my parents, my parents, something bad happening to my parents. Oh. I'm like, you have to do it. And and literally, I, I kid you not, this happens every night to where like I'll be scrolling on Facebook and someone will be like, oh like, so and so, like you know my mom's in the hospital, or whatever. I'm like fuck, like gotta make mm. sure that never happens. It's funny you say that, like, uh, I do something pretty terrible. Like, it's, it's altruistic, because it's good for me. Um, but you talk about, like, worrying about your parents. Like, I worry, like, people are gonna die all the time. Like, all of you guys, yeah. too. <clears throat> so, oh, like, thanks, Tyler. Like, so you. sometimes, like, if it, like, um, I'll call Everybody's people in dying. my family or friends in, like, like two in the morning sometimes, because I get so paranoid. I'm like, hey, I just wanted to call you. And I'll be like, are you okay where you're at? And they're like, yeah, why? And like, what's up? I don't know, I just was worried about you. And then I hang up. <laughs> and so they're then, like, what like, the fuck? I go to bed peacefully, <laughs> and then they're up at night like, what the fuck? And now That's they're freaked out. Or I'll leave them like a chain of messages, and they'll wake up, they're like, you texted me 12 times last night. <laughs> Why did you do that? I just want to make sure you're alive. I was worried about you. <laughs> I was watching this crime scene investigation show, and this girl went missing, and then you're a girl, so you know. <laughs> <laughs> Naturally, that led me to you. Um, but I'm, yeah, no. I'm superstitious in the same way you are. Not, not to that extent, though. <laughs> In, in the sense where there's weird things where I feel like certain items I have are good luck or bad luck. Mm. So I know if I wear like this certain necklace, something bad is gonna happen to me that day or if like, oh, this is my good luck necklace, so I'll wear this when I do this. Um, I'm also weird, like a little maybe OCD is the term instead of superstitious, where you're gonna think I'm so weird for this, but like when I eat things that are in pieces, I always have to eat them in an even number. Mm. Interesting. And like, that's the only thing in my life that I think I'm OCD about. Like, I never have to do like light switches or like anything in like a certain number. But it's just like, if someone hands me, like, here's one M and M. I'm like, could I have two? Oh, really? <laughs> like, mm. like, I only have See, one. Barbara. I'll do where like, if someone gives me M and M's or Skittles, if there's an odd amount of them, I'll eat enough so that they even out, so they'll have like one of each color, and yeah. then I'll eat the rest. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, so it's like it's just a weird. I don't. And there's no reason to it. I don't think like something bad is gonna happen if I only eat one M and M or one Skittle or something. Mm. But it's just something that I'm like, oh, I have to have to. Do you segregate your food too? I don't. Oh, I do that. Do you do yeah. that? I'm like, okay, I'm gonna finish my mashed potatoes first. Let's scoot this over. And then I'll do my green beans, and then I'll eat whatever like. The I had a friend like that in high is. school who would do that with McDonald's meals, mm. and like any meal he had. But you know, at McDonald's you get a soda, fries, and a burger. He would eat all of his fries and then finish his whole drink and then eat the burger or like whatever order, but he would have to finish one whole component yep. of that meal before yeah. moving on to the next one. like that too. Do yeah. it all the time, finish the fries yeah. first. That's mm-hmm. so weird. I just, I have to you know, 
I go reverse. I finish the thing that I want the most. Oh, like yeah. I finish with fries. Mm. But I'm probably the most superstitious person at this table. You think? What do well, because I grew up playing baseball, and that's like literally like 90% of baseball is being superstitious. I think sports like, in general is a very superstitious yes, thing like to be in. Yes, rally caps mm. and stuff like that. Oh, like, yeah. I'm I like rally knocking caps. the wood. Like, when Shake people, it, yeah, baby. Exactly. You shake, <laughs> or you like rub the hat like this, mm -hmm. you know, two outs. It's a 2-2 two -two count with two outs. Yeah. You have to do something weird. Like my mom, I got it from my mom. My mom's crazy. Um, <laughs> she pinches batters. Interesting. So, where, so, where does she So she's it? at the ballpark. She loves baseball. <laughs> she question. goes to baseball games like every week. Mm -hmm. And so she's looking Wait, at like, the what batter. What baseball games? Does she go to like high school games and like all sorts of games? UT. Little league games. Oh, UT games. Nice. Okay. UT nice. baseball. Okay. Because we live in Austin. Um, <laughs> or Round Rock Express. She'll go to <laughs> as well. Uh, so if she's looking at the opposing batter, like from her vantage point, she'll line oh. them up and then she'll pinch them. Pinch. So That's she devious. can. So she can get rid of them. That's it's like devious. some fucked up form of voodoo in her yeah, head. Yeah, I got it. That's like, it. does your mom feel like if she doesn't pinch, like it's bad luck? It is bad luck. Yeah. And then like I'll do stuff like if I if something good is going on, I won't move. As far as like. I do that too. Do you do that like I'm I, just like this is working out. Don't fuck up the juju. It happens with <laughs> sports more than anything for me. Like if I watch a hockey game where my team is playing. I, if I've looked at the screen, I need to look at it again to be like, I need to reset. Yeah, exactly. Like, what? have you ever done the thing like, if your team is down, you switch a channel, and then if they start like winning again, I won't go back to the game. Oh, really? No, no, I won't watch it. Like, I'll just watch from afar, like, okay, my team's doing good, but like, I'm not <laughs> going to go up. back there and watch the game because I'm going to fuck it up if I do that. There was a string of games that uh, my team in my hockey team was playing where every time I would watch a game, they would lose, and every time I wouldn't, they would win. Mm -hmm. Like, Probably about 10 or 11 games straight. And I was like, I can never watch a game again. <laughs> That's it. I am the deciding factor. <laughs> uh, my dad's convinced I'm the reason why the Longhorns are so shitty. <laughs> why? Because Well, because he blames. Nice I know. Oh, like, my dad loves me. <laughs> if we ever did a roaster toe uh, for me again, you should invite my dad because he would just fucking rip me to shreds. Okay. Um, but no, when we were in, like, my high school base, uh, football team was great, and then I got there, and, like, the four years that I was in high school, they sucked. And then I got to UT, and the four years that I was at UT, they, like, the Longhorn sucks. So he's just like, it's you, isn't it? You know what it is? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know exactly why, and only, you know, Texas people know this, but it's because you're dating a fucking Aggie. Oh, That's shit. That's why. House divided. I wasn't dating an Aggie in college. Yes, I was. You're dating an Aggie <laughs> now, and Texas sucks ass. Oh, yeah, but my what does that have to do with the, right. the past fine. few, you know? Oh, it's all, it's years. both of your fault then. Yeah. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, you're an Aggie? My sister. Your is sister's an Aggie? Yeah, she's just about to graduate. Oh, this year, actually. Yeah. Good. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe when she graduates, we'll be clear of this the bad curse. omen. <laughs> I felt so bad. Too. Like, I totally went with a dick move where I was like, you want to go to UT, don't you? Like, I was shoving that down her throat, and she was like, no, fuck off. You're like, but my alma mater. Come on. Come to Austin. Do you think you're superstitious, Lindsay? I feel like I used to be more because sports, I did rally caps and shit like that are like, oh, we're, this pair of socks helped me win this game, so I'll wear them again or something like that. But my life now, I've just accepted that like it's pure chaos. There's no yeah. way I can ever expect anything to go my way. It's just going to do whatever the fuck it wants to do, and I have to hang on for the ride. I, so. need, to, I need to adopt more of that attitude instead of being <clears throat> paranoid. <laughs> <laughs> As a kid. Be less of you. <laughs> be less like me. Be more yeah. like Lindsay. There you go. Yeah, I guess. Always. Like, always. I'll, I'll give you some notes. Like, yeah. don't, don't do this that I do, and do this that I do. <laughs> don't want to do this. The title of this episode: yeah. Be more like Lindsay. Be more like Lindsay. <laughs> Less like Get. Meryl. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you want insemination, let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. Cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. As a kid, I had a little bit more superstition, but I was also more religious. I think that kind of went hand in hand. Dude, that's yep. Mm -hmm. uh, do we you have think a lot of it is religion. Uh, for me, for I pray me every night. Yeah. I pray every night, and I hope that bad things don't happen. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I wouldn't say that I'm religious, I'm spiritual. Mm. I don't believe in, I think organized religion is terrible and horrible, and I really don't think you should be allowed to say um, that certain people can go to heaven or hell or whatever. I think that's fucking hey. dumb Word. and stupid. Feel Amen. It there. Amen <laughs> to that. Uh, I grew up Catholic. I grew up, like, was confirmed, whatever. Um, a lot of my family still super Catholic. I kind of, like, once I was confirmed, I was like, I don't want to show up here anymore except for the donuts and orange juice. <laughs> um, what about that little, what, like a little cracker that you <laughs> get, get, uh, you Wait, what is cracker. it? How do, they, how do they give you the cracker? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's like that's, that's only acid. some of the yeah. priests yeah. shove their fingers out. Oh. That's usually when you're younger, though. Oh, God. No. And that's after the wine. No. Is it uh, commune? It's communion. Yeah. Communion? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The body Christ. Well, I, I don't remember. I always passed out after the wine. What do mm -hmm. they give you? Jesus body tastes Christ. great. Well, <laughs> Jesus <laughs> delicious. Um, I'd go back for a second sometime. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> they didn't give us any crackers at synagogue. <laughs> we didn't get to eat any of Moses. They're like, they're like little wafers. I don't know. Yeah, they're yeah. like very, yeah. they're very tiny vanilla wafers that don't taste like vanilla. They taste like cardboard. They taste like sin. Yes. Yeah. Or like Jesus' body. So yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I think like a lot. You shed some flakes <laughs> off. Basically. <laughs> yeah. You should know. You killed them. <laughs> oh. God. No. Uh, <laughs> the Pope said it was the Romans. He said it was the Romans. It was the Romans. <laughs> it was the Jews. It was Jewish, though. Oh, you, oh, you killed one of your own. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Uh, yeah. no anyway, so yeah, <laughs> I'm super spiritual. <laughs> Not really. Goodness. Though. But you pray every night? Pray every night. I feel you on the, the spiritual um, superstition, too. Like in college, when I had the transition of, like, okay, how religious or spiritual do I want to be in kind of like self discovery moments? Um, I definitely thought like negative energy was bad. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you can't say or think anything negative about people that puts out bad energy into the universe. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna make mm-hmm. bad things happen to people. Yep. So always think positively. Or if you catch yourself thinking bad about someone, you have to correct it. Like, no, I don't think that anymore. I'm very sorry. I thought that to like you know the universe. Yeah. I guess. Well, I, I saw a thing uh, the other day. It was like the f- the first thought you you have when you see a person is what you're conditioned to think, and then the second thought that you have is I like, like what you should think. Oh, mm-hmm. interesting. I've heard that before. Yeah. yeah. There is something to be said, though, about the energy that the world puts out there. Yeah, like, yeah. I don't know if this has happened to you guys, but it's happened to me so often where I'll be thinking about someone or something that hasn't I haven't seen or something that hasn't happened in years. It happens with people, especially. Where I'm like, huh, I remember this person from this situation. I should reconnect with them. And then I'll have an email from them in like hmm. that day. And I'm like. Yes. Well, I you're a witch. Just thinking <laughs> about that means. But it's just weird. No, I feel that, okay, so that's where, like, uh, I, I was talking about this before the show, because I asked you, am I actually on the show today? Yeah. Because sometimes I manifest things. You're not, by the way. And, like, have delusions. Yeah, you do. <laughs> so, like, that, I have adult. those same thoughts where it's like, I was just, it's like you, you will the universe to, like, make it happen. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. But it makes me think the opposite route, like, Am I real or I'm like, am I in the Matrix? <laughs> exactly. Am I in a turtle's dream? Like, you don't know. <laughs> like, I don't know why a turtle would be dreaming about you. Well, no, it's like, do I even exist? Like, that. that's so, like, it's like you almost are like, that's so pure coincidence that it, it like. Should we mm, tell us? Somebody made this. Yeah. This is just supposed to be the three of us. See, I have not like long, long distance stuff. I'm like, I haven't thought about someone in a while, but I constantly have the thing where like, I'll be thinking of something in my head and then someone will say something that's very, very similar or like yeah. the subject I was thinking about. I'm like. Does it ever happen with a song? Yeah, all the time. Like you're like, oh, I'm thinking about this song, and then it's like the next one that plays on the radio. Yeah, and it's a song that I haven't heard in some time. Did you get some fucking jack when that happens? Yeah, I'm just like, (laughs) I I did that. I did that. (laughs) Uh, Have you guys ever done uh, any like tarot card readings or like palm readings? I did once. Someone someone did my tarot card readings for me, and luckily it was all positive, so it was cool. Oh, good. I uh, got. I used to go to at Barbarella's. They used to have someone on Tuesdays outside like reading uh, palms and and tarot cards, Mm -hmm. and so I used to do it every year on my birthday. And Tuesdays is a thing too. Tuesdays is a thing. Yeah, that was not a, <laughs> it's not just the day that We've talked about it on the show before. Yeah, on Barbara. Barbara. Um, but when I, were, I was living in L.A., one of my brother's uh, friends had, like, a, a big party to celebrate that they had just, like, closed on a house or whatever. And so they had, like, a chef there, and they had, like, all the, like, crazy L.A. things you would expect. And there was a palm reader, and I was like, oh, I'm going to get my palms read, even though, like, my grandmother would probably kill me for this. So I got my palms read, and I remember she told me something about, like, being in a relationship and how I wasn't happy and how, like, things were going to change. But at that point, like, I was with someone who I thought, I was like, oh, this is probably going to be, like, the forever thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And she told me that, and then, like, it, like, it opened up all of these doors in my head that I had been, like, kind of closing off myself, you know, and was, yeah. like, wasn't paying attention to because I was trying to make it work with this person for so long. Huh. And it was just, like, interesting, like... Uh, this thing that I'm always have always been like I'm not touching I'm not like it's brujeria. Ooh. I'm gonna what stick is that word mm. witchcraft. Oh, um, mm-hmm. but it opened up a lot of things and made me realize a lot of things, mm. which is weird. See now also I'm wondering and that's the whole like argument is how much of that is stuff that's already been predetermined we have mm-hmm. no control over or because you heard that now you yeah. have decided and put no, yourself on path. this path. Yeah, you're you're now making this happen because of this this juju that's coming yeah, to you. Yeah, and like one of the things that you might be hearing in your head is that you should give someone special some flowers. Ooh, hey. There's no better feeling <laughs> than making your mom proud. <laughs> Whether it was on the sports field, in the classroom, or conquering some other achievement, mom's reaction was always priceless. <laughs> Enjoy that feeling again by making her smile with 1-800-Flowers.com. 
Right now, 1-800-Flowers is giving our listeners an exclusive 24 for 24 offer. 24 multicolored roses for $24. That's only a dollar per rose. Simply pick your delivery date and let 1-800-Flowers handle the rest. With a bright and beautiful mix of premium roses in a rainbow of colors, these blooms are guaranteed to show mom just how much she's loved. These breathtaking roses from 1-800-Flowers are picked at their peak and shipped overnight to ensure freshness and mom's amazement. 24 multicolored roses for only $24 is an amazing offer, but it expires on Friday. Every bouquet is backed by 1-800-Flowers 100% smile guarantee. So whether you're surprising your wife, aunt, sister, or mother, don't settle for anything less than 1-800-Flowers.com. To order 24 stunning multicolored roses for only $24, go to 1-800-Flowers.com slash always open. That's 1-800-Flowers.com slash always open. Hurry, offer ends Friday. Oh yeah, Mother's Day is this weekend technically when this yep. comes out. Mm. Yeah. The 13th? 14th? <laughs> 14th. Whatever that Sunday is. <laughs> <laughs> so we have time. It's basically yes. what you're saying. We have time we to do. get our mother's gifts. We're going to forget okay. about it, and then right before it happens, you're going to think about your mom be like, yeah. oh, shit, the universe is telling well, me. Well, I, I can't think of anything flowers. that's like a better Mother's Day gift than this next question that we're about to answer. <laughs> hey. <laughs> so. Let me record this and send it to my mom. Yeah, <laughs> this one's for you. Uh, so this one it comes from an anonymous user, and it's our Have You Ever segment, and it's Have You Ever Used a Household Item as a Sex Toy? Here's the thing about me. Yes, I have. <laughs> uh, it was never to stick things inside me. It was always things that would vibrate yep. or things that I could just rub on myself. The clitoris. The cl rub on yes. the clit. Because mm -hmm. that's the kind of stimulation I enjoy. Uh oh. But it was like shampoo bottles. Oh my God. Uh, Wait. Like, oh my God. And you, all right. I wouldn't say, it's not inside, <laughs> but just for, Okay, no, you needed no, to no, clarify. No, like I we were both. Saying, These are not things that I stick inside my vagina. Now everybody's but, thinking about okay, it. Okay, right let's just clear that up. But, um, like, at one point in college, I got an electric toothbrush, and I'm just like, Nyeh. Yeah, I've heard of that. <laughs> Put it back in your mouth? I use the, the bottom end that uh, would vibrate. Yeah. Yeah. Washing machine? No, that's no, not the right that's type of... Yeah. That's a myth. I, a I, myth. I can believe yeah. it happens, but upon sometimes that I have decided to, to try it, it doesn't work it at does, all. Yeah. Really? Like, mm, you yeah. need, like, a... But that was with more... someone also, and they were like, this will be great. I'm like, I'm getting nothing. Let's hop yeah. off of here. I'm just yeah. shaking <laughs> a lot. I don't know. You know, sometimes, you know, stuff happens to you. Mm. And it's just, you can't control who you are. It's the universe. But sometimes for me, like, if I'm driving and I'm going over a bumpy road, like, it feels good. On your like, prostate? In, yeah. mm. in this area... Gay? And I'm dri I do. I think that I'm driving. I'm like, am I gay? <laughs> like, maybe I'm a little gay. You're just like begging. Like, who knows? <laughs> I'm like, I'm not denying. This feels yeah. really good, and maybe I'm gay now. Maybe. Would you be cool with a woman putting a strap on on and going down? See, to I don't know. You know, I've I've talked I talked about this on the last show. I've had people in my butt before, not mm. dudes, but not that I have anything. It's not wrong. But it's not. It's just for not me. for you. It I don't just want to get feels by, dude. wrong. It feels for Tyler. <laughs> it's, I'm only gay in my car when I'm driving. It's <laughs> um, hey, you can do a lot of things in your car. With God, God, can we just like bookmark that? I'm, as, only, gay I'm only gay in, in my, my car. car. Yeah. I get a little, you know, a little, Let's little, little, little slap and tickle down there. That's fine, you know. Like you know, the girls. I, I'm totally fine with the digit. A digit singular. Inside digit. you. Here, lean over. Mm. I'm just kidding. Oh. oh sorry. <laughs> Did you see that reaction? Would it gotta, be, would it, that actually like, kind of felt kind of good. You like, you like a tickle or you like a full finger? I've had a full finger in there before. You know, this one girl, she had meaty hands. That didn't feel very good. Well, um, is, there, is there movement or is it just like, okay, in and I out? think there's two things. One, there's literally the prostate that if you get that tickle and you hit that point, yeah. uh, it's going to get you there. Yeah. Um, the other thing is like, it's wrong. I think we talked about mm -hmm. this before. It's like when you yep. do things that are wrong, it feels really good. Why is it good. wrong? Mm -hmm. Why is it wrong? It's, it's just like, you know, because cause you're a man. It's exactly. like you're not supposed to. You're supposed to put your ass. things in other people's Stick things. Stick things up your ass, man. Yeah, go for it's it. You only live YOLO. Man. You know what? Well, I'll get you for your birthday. I'll get you one of those. Uh, get him a drumstick. I'll get you one of those dildos that suction cups onto things. <laughs> so you oh, can yeah, just like yeah. lower yourself onto it and like just enjoy just, the ride. I've seen those like Instagram fails where someone posts a selfie and it's like you're. Oh, those, like, <laughs> shower. It's right there. You guys have seen that whole uh, Reddit post. I think they've talked about it on the podcast the whole time, like uh, multiple times. Where basically this guy yeah. goes and get, he gets a prostate exam. He's like, oh shit, like I got real hard. But the doctor was awkward about it, whatever. And then he went home and he was like, 
oh, I'm into this. And so he like went to Guitar Center and bought a drumstick and just like was fucking. Whoa! Yeah, and he said that. It, I was it, like, wouldn't that hurt? I would think. I would think. Maybe, like, but I fucking loved it. He said he got like harder than he's ever gotten yeah. before. It was. It's a. You can break a piece of wood over yeah. his hard dick or something like that. It was, <laughs> Go with it's like, like beautiful <laughs> written story. Go with like a xylophone mallet or something. Yeah, it's like soft head. Yeah, like <laughs> that's gentle. Good. I've never had a prostate uh, exam. Oh really? You probably uh, should. I know. Uh, you know, the last time I went to the doctor, I was actually really disappointed. I don't know how to uh, talk about this. Just quick segue when we get back to the house. No, you're good. Um, they, uh, I went to go get a physical. She didn't look at my dick. And I didn't know how. Were you offended? How, yeah. Well, I wasn't offended. I was just like. More concerned. I wanted to ask, like, yeah. you should <laughs> you should look uh, at man. my penis. I know where this has been. Please and, look at my penis. Um, like, please look at my dick. Like, how do you even approach that <laughs> question to your doctor? And she was a woman, too. It's mm-hmm. like, I wanted to tell her, like. Can, uh, <laughs> excuse me, miss, but I, uh, I happen to notice that you did not inspect yeah. my genital region. <laughs> this wasn't that, it wasn't that I was excited to like get a physical for to touch no, my dick, but, but it's like you know it's yeah, gonna happen. Concerned. So you're it's anticipating it, so like you warm it up a little bit. You don't want to, you know, you don't want it to be a little, you know, all frozen and stuff, a little chub, chub a club. What do you mean by warm it up? Like. I do not jack off. Well, what do you mean? Was like, before fiscal, I'm just, you know, you... I'm just in there kind of rubbing it a little bit. Just so you get hard sure. for your doctor? I don't get hard for my doctor. <laughs> you just lengthen it out a little bit. It's like a fucking slinky. You just send it down uh, that first step. You don't want it all coiled up. <laughs> and it's just like, it's a thing. Do you really think your doctor's, like, you walk into the doctor and the doctor's like, oh, well. No, the doctor's <laughs> fine, like, she has a job today. Here. I can't oh. get over the slinky <laughs> right <laughs> Well, it's not, it, 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 she sees dicks, all, you know, doctors see dicks all the time, right? Yeah. Like a lot of bigger dicks. Like I'm sure, you know, I'm, you know, like a lot I'm not going to talk about how big my dick is, but like, you know, there's big dicks out there. There's a lot of big dicks out there. You guys might know, like you see I've a big dick. I mean, I've seen them all. Um, the room. So it's not like, I just, it's not like I'm going to beat those dicks. I just mm. want to. You're going to beat a dick? You just want to be in the race. I want to be yeah. in the race. I want to be <laughs> middle of the pack. They're going to win. Tyler was you a You come in and she's like, I remember you. I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to be the fucking miniature donkey pulling up the rear. Like, right. Here's the thing you need to remember. Great. People probably uh, get like small when they're at the doctor because they're nervous. Yeah, no, like, that's cold. the thing. And it's, yeah, it's freaking cold. Yeah. So mm-hmm. many guys can relate to this. Like the first time you're with a new girl, like you do get nervous and you'll go in the bathroom. But like when she's in the bathroom, like, I mean, women rarely do that. I'm going to get ready thing, but maybe they do. I don't fucking know. Uh, I mean, I don't like know. You, you try and like on the way walking into the house where you know you're about to get coitus, like you're thinking like, I got to get a, uh, come on. I like how you're all like your emotion of warming up your dick is this. <laughs> just in there, like, come on, I rub my tongue too. You're just too. like <laughs> rubbing it in circular motions with your hand. And I'm not like self-conscious about my penis, but like, you know, you just want to. Apparently you are I think though. you are. I think mm-hmm. you're a little self-conscious. Just want a nice. Nice. Just a just first a, step slinky. Just a little length going on, just like so, that guy's got a normal penis. <laughs> anyway, what was this topic? What were we talking uh, about? Uh, household items as sex toys. Yes, that's we've established that we you have not. But what about you guys? <laughs> um, you're, you're ladies. L- 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 I'm the ladies? same way as you. I, I don't necessarily care for. I mean, I don't mind things inside. Mm-hmm. M- Mariel cave, uh, but I don't prefer them. So anytime I've ever. Uh, <laughs> Done anything? <laughs> it's not been with a thing. Uh huh. Uh-huh. I was such like a horny kid that I would just like rub up on anything. Uh, I had I I remember uh, a friend of mine was talking about how she would uh, rub up on doors. <laughs> Yeah. Like she'd grab like the door handles. <laughs> door handles just, were in like, good areas. Just fucking hump it, I guess. He's fucking. Can you go down the list of things that you you've rubbed on? <laughs> oh, this boot, like, like... this table, Tyler Co. Yeah, like anything. Oh if it's a hard surface, <laughs> that camera. Oh my. Like, probably. What is your favorite thing to rub up on? Well, my hand. Well, besides your hand, like, is it a couch? You like the friction, or is it like do you scoot across a floor like a dog, or like? <laughs> well, sometimes you could put like I don't know, maybe like a like a football. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You have done that. <laughs> what the oh. fuck? Because, like, like, you put it on the I floor and the then ridges. sit on it and just... Okay. <laughs> I imagine the ridges are pretty... That's incredible. Oh, It's Barbara. rich for her pleasure. Oh, Lord. Oh, you go laces up, Barb? <laughs> no. Oh, Jesus Christ. That rub... It's that a little, uh, right what are the dimples on this yeah. crust ball? Yeah. Laces out, Dan. Yeah. God. Dang. <laughs> Spiral. Listen, That's I used to, to play that. football. Yeah, you did. Take mm-hmm. the game ball home with me. Get you across that goal line. Oh, which Barbara can throw a mean spiral. I've seen that. She can do it. Yeah. With yes. my vagina as well. <laughs> <Just> shoot <laughs> it out. <laughs> God. I just uh, want you to never think of footballs in the same way ever again. I'm just 
Yeah. Dude, if I had a penis, I'd be sticking it in everything and like, yeah, anything and you. everything. Yeah, you pretty much do. Not yeah. like, not with, I wouldn't even care That's about why people. I don't believe that you've never <laughs> fucked anything in your house. I never fucked anything in my house. But, y- 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 d- stick it in stuff. I never, I, I mean, I, 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 uh, <laughs> Always open, Tyler. <laughs> yes. I mean, I can suck my own dick. Yeah? Nice. <laughs> That's the name of this episode. <laughs> yes. So you're worried about length, and when you go to the doctor, we can suck your own dick. Are you super flexible? I am very. I mean, yeah. I Damn. Do, I do yoga all the time. That's awesome. You guys know that. <laughs> That's incredible. I mean, I can. It's not gay. It's my dick. And I, I tried it. I didn't like. I didn't like. Like come into my mouth. I just like. I put the put the penis head in my mouth mm-hmm. to see if I could. Did you good? It's like. <laughs> Trying to see if you can climb Mount Everest or something like what can no. what can yes. man do? <laughs> how how long can I hold my how breath much, underwater? How much of this how world far can I run? <laughs> can I stick my dick in my mouth? Those are the things that men think about. I would test it out. No joke. I would too. Cute. Absolutely. I mean, I've heard of people like removing ribs so they could, you know, yeah, get Isn't that yeah, like a, a rumor about like Marilyn Manson? Marilyn Manson, so, yeah. 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 Just go to Black Swan Yoga in Austin <laughs> for like a month. What a stunning yeah. endorsement. You, you can just, suck your own dick. <laughs> Now I got it. Yeah, they're donation based. But it, I, I, like I, I felt very weird vagina. after it. Like I just like, um, uh, I, I, you know, because um, I, I was like, oh, that was, that was, oof, that was like wrong. That happened. It was wrong. <laughs> like, it's like looking in your mother's drawer and seeing a big old dildo. Like, yeah, don't want to do that. Mm, and so yes, exact same thing. And I literally like I didn't do anything after that. I don't even think I jerked off. I just like put it in there. So and I was were like, you sat there in silence like? <laughs> <laughs> Were you hard I already? I out of that. Well, you had to get hard. I yeah, don't. I wasn't I like do. sucking a noodle. <laughs> okay. You know? I don't get, the way you so describe you're... your flaccid penis to me is like, of course your doctor's going to think it's you're It's many tiny. things. Yeah. It's, like, uh, it's like a chameleon. You just never mm. know. The fruit yeah. roll-up. It's like yes. a fruit roll-up. I accidentally yeah. like glanced at your dick now. Don't. Sorry. <laughs> I couldn't oh, hey, I touched that. That's a good one. The universe is telling you to look at the dick. I can't help. <laughs> so like, I'm going to uh, look at you like this now. No, like, yeah, yeah you got to get hard. I can't, I cannot... I don't know. But Wait, so were you bent over or you had your legs both, up here? Both, both, and then you... Oh. So you, you came over. together. Yes. Yeah, folded together. Mm. Okay. Because I, I've... Uh, well, you see, you're more, you're way more, like, you're literally, like, your, your butt is over your head almost, right. basically. Like, it's more your legs you over your body, and then you come up. I see. Yeah. I see. Yeah. Was it like you you touched it and you're like I did it there done or was it like okay I'm gonna go no, like I, it mouth? Was, <laughs> it was just like it was almost like little like you know when you go to Sea World little, the seals give a kiss to the trainer. Oh, awesome. that's what it was like. <laughs> did was you little, kiss your dick right here? Just little. <laughs> give me one of those. <laughs> you kissed it or you put it in your mouth? I didn't. I mean. You kind of said earlier you put it. In it your was mouth. more like I mean you go to kiss a dick you guys know like you yeah. go to kiss a dick and a little kiss bit it goes in a little bit further. Mm-hmm. No, you, you never it. kiss it and accidentally put it in your mouth. You never like. <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh, I guess I'm fucking myself. <laughs> I great. I give great head. <laughs> No, like if you're warming up for a blowjob and then the and guy just kind of like sticks in, like, oh, I tripped and fell into your daughter, and, you know, that happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Situation. No, for, totally, yeah. That's every time. Oh. <laughs> I'm just going for a loving kiss and I accidentally open my mouth. <laughs> 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 Just thinking about every scenario where that would hey, happen. Hey, if to I you could do it, I'd probably it. try it. Here's the thing, though. I don't think I, I, I don't think I could get off by doing that to myself. I don't think I could. I'd be curious, though. I get the curiosity, and I get the like, no, how far can I go? I hate myself. I don't want anything to do with that, even if I could. Yeah, you know, it's just get away. like, because it's like one thing to use your hand for something to masturbate, like you know, because mm-hmm. you think about someone else. You don't think about your own hand. But You're then like, if it's oh, your own thanks. mouth or your own tongue or whatever it it's is, not it's like, I, well. No. Well, Even if it I mean, was, it's fine. But I'm saying I don't know if I could get off that way. And I don't. I, I'm assume but, there's people who oh, do yeah, and do is, get but off. But this isn't like a. This was like, can I, can I do it? Can I put my body through this and like mm-hmm. get to that, the top of it? That goes back to the timeline mentality of like, what can the human body do? Yeah. Yeah, what are we like, capable uh, of? It was like Space Odyssey. You know the music, like da. <laughs> <laughs> like just trying, dick, 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 dick. <laughs> trying to see if I can get it in there. Like I, I evolved mankind. My kids will be able to suck their own dicks. My God! But when you then, have a daughter, will she lick her own clit? I, hope. I assume. Yeah. And then we're that's gonna... what I don't want to walk into. That would be awkward. <laughs> like, oh because I, wouldn't, I wouldn't want to stay. 
<laughs> and see my daughter do that, but I'd be like, how the fuck are you doing that? How are you looking at your own vagina? That's insane. How do you teach your mom to do that? I have to raise a gymnast. Sorry, don't. Well, it's so don't, don't weird. It's so this is weird. No Every is. topic is just, <laughs> discovering things about yourself are very interesting. I, I remember the first time. I, I mean, I've already said I suck my dick, but the first yeah. time I ever got yeah. hard, I was in the bathtub and I was laying down. And I just rolled around like a slug. It felt really good. <laughs> like I just kind of like. Moved. I let the water like move around. Yeah. You, or? Well, no. I was like, I was laying down. Like the shower was on. Like yeah. I was just chilling. Because sometimes I don't like being in the bath. I just like the shower to like. Okay, okay. Just like chilling, and then like I just kind of. Shawshank rolled. Redemption style. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and I just oh, rolled around. I was eleven. Rubbing it eleven on, on like the size of the. Dude, bathroom. you just the got, porcelain you got felt hard really way good before you were eleven. Oh, I'm yeah, sure it doesn't I hit did. you when you're like nine or ten. Or oh, I would. I mean, you can get yeah, but yeah. Well, there's like kid boners, but are they yeah, like, like sexual? Baby boners. Yes, yeah, they're it's not sexual. sexual. No, baby boners. They just happen. Aren't sexual. No. Uh, on that note, <laughs> baby boners aren't sexual. I think it's time to talk about something else. <laughs> Speaking of time, please. Uh, thanks to Movement Watches for sponsoring this episode of Always Open. Movement Watches was started by two college kids who wanted to wear awesome, stylish watches, but couldn't afford them, so they started their own watch company. At department stores, uh, nice watches range from 400 to 500 bucks. With Movement, they start at just $95. Movement figured out that by selling online, they're able to cut out the middleman and retail markup, providing the best possible price. Their designs are classic, and the quality is great. They've sold over 1 million watches in over 160 countries. That's a lot of watches in a lot of countries. Get 15% off today with free shipping and free returns by going to movementwatches.com slash open. I love the watch from them. This is one of my favorites. It's the rose gold one. Uh, it's a great design, comfortable, and it's stylish as well, which you could clearly see, especially when I put it next to my face. Uh, now's the time to step up your watch game. Go to movementwatches.com slash open. Join the movement. Thank you, Movement Watches. Psh. I love this one. It's, a, it's no. nice. It goes really well mm -hmm. with your outfit. Thank you. Uh, let's move on to our last question. This is uh, Sexpertise. This one's submitted by an anonymous person. And I assume he writes, There's this girl I know who I'm really into and I desperately have wanted to go on a date with. I've known her for about four years and have only started developing feelings for her in the past nine months or so. She's nice and cool and I've honestly never met anyone like her. In the past year or so, I've noticed possible signs where she was, not that I look at it, quite possibly trying to flirt with me, giving weird compliments, trying to put me on her Instagram pictures, trying to make me get closer to her, etc. Because of how I was at the time, I didn't notice it. Now she's dating another guy and really speaks to me. Only now do I realize how much of a loss it was. How do I become perceptive of signs like this and not mess it up in the future? Woof. I'm definitely the kind of person who's definitely missed signals, or I'm just like totally oblivious to things. And they're like, dude, he, he likes you. I'm like, the what? I thought we were just hanging out, having fun, yeah. enjoying each other. I guess it depends on the person. I think some obvious things are someone who's very touchy tends to be a little more interested. Like if they're always like, no, like, stop it, man, whatever. Mm. Like always trying to touch you or interact with you physically. That's I'm not interested, sign. by the way, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> what are you talking about? Give me your football. <laughs> There's also super touchy people who are just super touchy people. True. Mm -hmm. I have nothing. But you should be able to pick up on that if you see them interact with everybody else, right. you know, um, I mean, depending yeah. upon if, that, if that's a possibility. But yeah, I mean, that's usually how I pick up. I mean, guys, it's hard to like, I mean, for this guy, I could, I, like, I could relate. Like, it's, it's, it's tough to understand, and kind of like you're saying, like, you don't know if a girl is just being nice, um, you have, like... Or she's just a flirty personality. You just don't mm -hmm. know, like, but I think the touching thing really is, like, that's a big deal. It's a big yeah. deal. Yeah, or, like, proximity to you, you know, mm -hmm. just, but even then, like... Someone it, who's also always complimenting you and wanting to be around you and stuff like that, stuff like that usually indicates there's a little more, mm -hmm. and there's nothing wrong with being like, hey, you into me? Or whatever it is, or just being flat out yeah. honest yeah. about it, or just even not even asking on their behalf. It's like, hey, just you know, putting it out there. I have these feelings for you, or I feel this way about you, and hopefully they reciprocate. Might not. Some people are yeah. worried though if they say that it'll make right. the relationship awkward if yeah. they don't reciprocate. It, Seems like that is the risk. That might is have the risk, been, yeah. right? Because like he said, they've been friends for what, like four years. Yeah, yeah. Started, especially if you misinterpret those signals, yeah, and it is a, very awkward. That's a yes. that's a tricky situation right there to navigate. Which so. I have been in. It's no fun. Yeah. But it's also yeah. like one of those things where if you do like this person and you are thinking you're picking up signals, you might as well just say something. Yeah. And if it is awkward, I mean, it's going to be awkward, but or else you're going to be left being like, oh well, I never said anything. 
Right. I should have said something. Mm. You don't want to regret things in life. And I heard a quote recently that like was very eye-opening where in like 20, 30 years from now, you're going to regret the things that you didn't do versus the things you did do. Like that tends to be more of people, what people re regret. And so if it is one of those situations where you think there's something more and you think, hey, am I going to be more upset if I don't ask this and then don't make an awkward situation or if I do ask and it doesn't work out, but now I know at least because that could have led to mm. something more. Well, that's the thing. Doesn't, he literally says in, again, assuming it's a he, um, he says they don't really talk anymore yeah. at all. It's like, okay, well, you're, I mean, either way, if it is a negative reaction to you coming out with those feelings, like she's not going to talk to you. So what's the worst case scenario? Oh, it's already happening because yeah. yeah. you didn't say anything. I don't want to like <laughs> make this guy presumably feel any worse, but yeah, she totally was into him. Oh yeah, She wouldn't so? talk to, like the not talking to him thing. Mm -hmm. Because she's dating someone else. Because she's dating somebody else. Uh, yeah. She doesn't want to have that. She's obviously a faithful person. She doesn't want to be in contact with that mm, guy. Yeah. Yeah. I think if it was just a friend zone situation, y'all would still be hanging out, right? Yeah. Like it wouldn't That's be true. That friend zone's not real. It's true. Friend zone, I do. Friend zone is totally fucking real. The friend zone I, is not real. Mm -mm. I agree with the mentality that the friend zone is not real. You can just be friends. And yeah. you don't have to have this whole, like, oh, we were not into me. I'm being rejected. So you're yeah. now in the friend zone. That's Guys bullshit. put girls in the girlfriend zone. That's <laughs> yeah. something they do. Correct. No, I'll agree with that. I didn't mean, like, no. Yeah, I agree with you guys. Like, yeah, the friend zone, like, no, I get what it, you're saying. Yeah, it, I, I think you're on the same page. Yeah. It shouldn't be treated or, or thought of as a punishment, which a lot of people do think of, like, you know, I have, I've been spurned, so now yeah. I'm in the friend zone. Or yeah, it's I just like, oh, I'm put in the friend zone. It's like, well, you never in any other zone. Yeah. Chill, dude. Yeah. <laughs> You're just friends, and yeah. then... Not a fan of those people you. that, like, and, and it's not like, uh, you know, some people, do that they just can't help it. That's just who they are. They're just, you know, just romantics, like, diehards, and, like... Just putting themselves in a situation like, oh, I'm friends with this girl now. Like, oh, now I have to date her. Right. Yeah. Why can't you right. just be friends with a girl? Yeah. Why like, literally, guy, look at you know, my relationship matter. with Andrew Blanchard is exactly that. I'm like, there is no romantic chemistry whatsoever. The thought is disgusting. But, <laughs> but, uh, but I think oh, he can agree with that too. Like, Andrew. You know, oh my God. But you know, we've been friends for years now, and it's it's awesome. And a lot of people that like. I don't know. They've said weird things to Andrew or me. They're like, "Oh, you guys make a cute couple." I'm like, "That's <laughs> no, <laughs> like never." That's pretty much ever. me and like every guy here. It's mm -hmm. just like these are all my friends and like oh yeah, coworkers. Yeah, I view you like a sister. Yeah, like I view most of the women here like a sister. Exactly. Like all That's the how I am with I'm the cheap and hunter yeah. for yeah, sure. And like... of course, fans are like, "Ooh, like who do we ship with who?" I'm like, "I yeah. will vomit." If you <laughs> talk about like me hanging out with Jeff like that or anything, and also well, Griffin will murder me. So yeah, yeah. So yeah. please don't do that. Have you guys had that situ ever had a situation where you had a friend that you like were developing feelings? on and like nothing ever came of it um, yes oh you, i know times. you said yeah yeah i've i've also had the opposite where i i was friends with a guy and i i recognized the fact that he was i think getting a little too attached to me yeah. and also like i sensed that he was like falling for me in that sense and i was like i should probably say something because i don't want him to get the wrong idea um and it's happened before where it has kind of ruined the friendship which is unfortunate yeah but it, i would hate for it to advance even more and not say something, and then for it to be like, I'm not interested in you like that. Yeah. Sorry. And then for it to be like, Pfft. yeah. Mm -hmm. It comes out of the woodworks. Like I, I'm, you know, kind of like I'm not like seeing anybody. I'm like hanging out with uh, a lady, um, and she's been telling me like that. Uh, and she recently got out of a very long, long relationship, uh, and she has been telling me that a lot of her friends have been coming out of the woodworks, mm -hmm. kind of like people that have been lurking, not not necessarily in the shadows, but you know what I mean? Like, yeah. now that she's like, oh, hey, I'm uh, I'm available. Do you want to, like, come mm. out? Like, it's that sort of thing. And, like, yeah. you know, you should always just ask out a person. Yeah. I was looking, I, I recently moved. I was uh, looking for, um, um, obviously, a place to live. Yeah. And this realtor that uh, was showing me around one day, she was really cute. And we looked at some places. I didn't buy the place because it sucked. <laughs> But like she was really cute and she was job. really nice. So literally at the end of it, I was like, "Hey, you would just I, I would like to ask you out." And like that's really hard to do for a shit ton of people. Mm -hmm. But the more you do it, it's just like riding a bike. You don't feel like this huge weight of rejection when you keep asking somebody out. I mean, don't be like a serial like guy that like goes out there and is like, "Hey, you want to go out with me? Hey, you want to go out with me?" Yeah. Please like, save me, please. But please. if you have an inkling of a feeling, you are obligated to explore that, you no should. matter what that is. Yeah. Period. I have uh, one of my good friends in college, um, I had been in a long distance relationship and then that ended and she was kind of like, I guess was picking up on signals that I didn't think I was throwing out there and so it came, became a whole thing with all, like my entire group of friends were involved and uh, 
and it was awkward and it sucked for you know three or four months and then we got over it and we're like good that was like three years ago and we're friends now yeah but it's like one of those things where at the time it was like oh this is really awkward I don't like you you say that I'm doing all these things but you're just basically pointing out things that, uh, like how I act with everyone. Mm -hmm. like you're, you know, I'm not flirting with you, I'm flirting with everyone. <laughs> it could even go more extreme. Like, you know, I'm friends with people that I've slept with in the past, where it's just like you tried it out, it like didn't really work out, you realize that you don't really have feelings for each other, and you can just move on from that. You should be able to move on from anything. Yeah. For this yeah. guy, I mean, eh, it sucks. Yeah. But like, I would say, wait around. If you really care about her that much, maybe sh maybe it'll come back around. Or also, maybe. maybe she just doesn't know that he feels that way about her, and yeah. you should like say like, hey, I know you're in a relationship, but like, I think you're a great person. And, like, maybe yeah. we could reconnect if you ever find yourself, you know. I don't know about that. Like, I, it's I would kind of like a weird. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I would respect yeah. the relationship yeah, for respect, sure. Yeah, because I know if, if if I were in that relationship, I'd be a little bit concerned if my yeah. significant other was talking to someone who or I know got, that they got that kind of message. With. Right. Right. Yeah, true, true. Be like, all right, all right. But yes, I think you can at least be honest. Be like, hey, you know, I really appreciate you as a friend or like here's some, some memories that we've shared together and I hope that we can reconnect or even just trying to reconnect as a friend first yeah. maybe you could do that like hey we never talk anymore can we and if can she we does talk? become single yeah. then yeah. it's like hey here's what you do you stand outside her doorstep Christmas <laughs> some white cards oh, yeah. you just tell her how you feel perfect the boom box is yeah. up there too Good. Uh, just, just well, do it all based so, on my dating history too like is it true I, I have seen a repeated pattern of if the person texts you a lot or constantly tries to make contact with you when they're not with you physically that is a big indicator that they're yeah. interested in you romantically. Yeah. Also, I could say one of the things is, as you said before, pay attention to how this person is with other people. And if they're the same way, the same type of flirtiness, touchiness, or trying to get them in Instagram photos, I think is one of the things he said, then yeah, that's just the way that person is. But if they're only doing that stuff with you, that's probably a big sign that they're they're into it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I was thinking about going back to the like moving past rejection or anything like mm -hmm. that. Um, I mean, I was just talking recently about my friend Glenn, and I went to his wedding in New York. It was awesome. So happy for him. But I had a huge crush on him in high school, and it got out, um, not because I wanted it to, but yeah. a friend decided to tell him, hey, Lindsay wants to date you. And it was super uncomfortable for a little bit because we were really close, um, and we hung out. We did, like, improv together and stuff like that, and then there was that weird like unspoken vibe of like, oh, you wanted to date me, but you don't want to date me. Oh, this sucks. Oh. Yeah. But you know, I mean, it, it's totally fine. Again, like looking back now, I'm attending his wedding. He was at mine. He was one of my ushers and he helped out so much. Like we still have that really good friendship that, you know, could have been ruined by this, but because I guess, you know, the universe decided that we had to be honest with each other and ended up working out just fine. So it, it can work out. Yeah. It can be positive. It, it yeah. depends on the person too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Some people are more, accepting and mature about that kind of stuff than yeah. others. At least you can live with the fact if you ask somebody out that that takes a lot of fucking courage to do. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like it takes a lot of courage to like open up your soul to somebody and be like, hey, I, I feel feelings for you. Mm -hmm. I mean, especially for guys, like, uh, you know, guys out there like, hey, if you like a girl, don't be a pussy. Go fucking ask her <laughs> out. And if she says no, don't be a pussy as well. Yeah. The, Why ask, pussy? You can Why pussy? Move yeah. on. Uh, yeah. Pussies could take a lot. Uh, they uh, True. take a pounding and give birth. This one's about to pop one out. Damn straight. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think also. Don't be yeah. a ball sack. <laughs> yeah. Don't yeah. be a ball sack. Don't, don't be a Tyler's dick. self sucking dick. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think also like to play into that. I think guys are more conditioned. Like if you if you f show your feelings to a significant other and they reject you, like you're a failure as a man. It's like you shouldn't think that way. No. Not at all. Yeah. Not at all. It doesn't make you any less of a man. Like, what does that mean? I think it's like yeah. kudos to you for having the courage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You just move on if it's not there. Don't be a home wrecker. Don't be, be honest with your be feelings a and just tell people. Yeah. yeah. Don't I be really like Jolie. Yeah. None of that. <laughs> <laughs> well, good luck to you, anonymous user. Let us know how it goes. And if you have a question for us for Always Open, send it to alwaysopen at roosterteeth.com. Tyler, Lindsay, Mero, thank you so much Barbara. for joining me thank today. You. Thanks for having me. Thank you. And if you're a first member, uh, tune into our first members only show called Still Open, where we just, you know, have a nice chat. <laughs> See you soon. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Cheers. Thank you. Oh, I oh you have no drink. I can't. I can't. Hey, superstitious, <laughs> it's bad luck. I oh, yeah? Bad, bad luck. <laughs>